Look, we still believe demand is pretty solid. The fundamentals are strong. They've been investing in infrastructure, and in our view, that will continue. And you're seeing that both through the iron ore price, met coal prices, even though there are those issues with Australia. Uh, copper demand's pretty solid. We think PGMs uh, will continue to improve as they move into stricter environmental regimes. And buying for diamonds has been great. So from our point of view, the, the fundamentals look pretty good. Um, and so uh, we think it'll be pretty solid. I think the bigger issue for our industry is the ability to supply on a global basis. Many countries are still impacted by COVID. Uh, many operators haven't been investing in uh, future production. We have been, and I think we're well positioned over the next two or three years, and we think China will be a solid story going forward. Um, I think the big issue will be can mining companies supply to their markets? Uh, Mark, I was just going to ask you about copper, so it's interesting you and Jeff have already gone there as well. Is it acting as Dr. Copper or is it actually the speculators who are driving it to where it is as well? I think the fundamentals are pretty strong. Uh, I would have thought it might have even been a bit higher than it is today. It's taken a bit of a pause, but as you say, China is a strong player in that market and, and that includes with some speculation. But we still think the fundamentals are strong. And in the next five years, we think uh, copper... Uh, we'll struggle, we will struggle as an industry to supply enough copper to the market. Most people don't understand that the energy transition doesn't happen without copper and the world is going to be short copper. Right, so you're going to get on the phone to Jay Powell and tell him that this isn't transitory, Mark? Oh, I believe it's a, a fundamental driver. For the industry, the big issue is supply. Um, I don't think we're in a super cycle per se, I think the bigger issue is the industry's ability to supply, and that reflects investment and, and I think, um, a, a more conservative view of the leadership across the industry over the last few years, and I think that will play out into better prices for the next uh, few years at least. Mark, it's no surprise uh, a miner tells me the prices are going up, but the point is, do you believe, though, that actually some of these inflationary big rises we've seen on the back of this big recovery, China and elsewhere, these are here to stay, these price increases as well. And, and the, the, the talk of inflation being doused aggressively uh, is just wrong. I think, I think the key point to make is that US, China and other countries are investing in infrastructure whether it be in response to COVID or some other matter. And so we think the fundamentals are strong. We think supply will struggle to meet that demand. And then you've got the energy transition. So we think that formula means that commodities should be strong, uh, certainly for the next three to five years, in our view.